in this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to the next section of this course, which is on matplotlib. Matplotlib is a library we will use to visualize our data. This section will be quite short compared to the NumPy section, since in your investigation of machine learning algorithms, there are really only a few plots you need. This is not about building reports or presentations or anything like that. We are interested in plots that will help us specifically with the implementation of machine learning models. So that being said, what are we going to cover in this section? First, we're going to talk about line charts. Line charts, despite its name, are used to plot any kind of one-dimensional signal. So for example, you might want to plot a time series, like the stock price per unit time. Another example of that is a sound wave. So for example, you might load in an MP3 and look at how the amplitude changes over time. Musicians look at line charts like this all day, except when you look at it from the perspective of a musician, the lines are so close together that you can't see the individual values at each time step. Next, we're going to look at a very important kind of plot, the scatter plot. The scatter plot lets us see our data from a geometric perspective. In fact, when we think of, say, a classification problem or a clustering problem, we often think in terms of geometric pictures just like these. Even when you have data which is very high dimensional, that is, data you can't see, we still try to find ways to reduce the dimensionality so that we can see it on plots like this. Next, we're going to look at another important plot, the histogram. The histogram is important because it lets us see the distribution of our data. And of course, by distribution, I mean probability distribution. Machine learning algorithms are often defined using the language of probability, so being able to look at the distribution of your data to determine what kind of distribution it has is very important. Finally, we're going to look at how to plot images. Images are a very important type of data in modern machine learning. The field of computer vision has exploded thanks to deep learning. And thanks to these advances, we are closer than ever to self-driving vehicles and autonomous robots. Part of this also is going to be answering the question, how exactly is an image represented inside a computer? As you'll soon see, it's nothing we don't already know about. 